just a day after burying his 11-year-old son. The boy committed suicide last week. His family believes as a result of being bullied at school. Kirsten McIntyre just got back from Perkins with a tragic story. Kirsten. Well, Kelly, Kirk Smalley describes himself as a private person who, under any other circumstances, would never agree to a television interview. But he feels he has no other option but to tell his story and hopes something can be done to stop bullying. Ty always had that big, beautiful smile beaming across his sweet little face. Kirk Smalley reads through letters written by his son's teachers. Such a hard worker and a blessing. He finds the words comforting, but also heartbreaking. This is not a child that ever thought about committing suicide. But the young boy who loved hunting and cards baseball is gone. 11-year-old Ty Field killed himself last Thursday. We're in a parent's worst nightmare. We lost our baby. It's, uh, it's not supposed to happen. They're supposed to put you in the ground. Ty was a sixth grader at Perkins Schools. The day he shot himself, he'd been suspended. His dad believes he was simply fighting back against the boy who had bullied him almost daily. I think he, he was just tired of fighting it. Uh, I think he just kind of didn't have anything left in him. Smalley says his wife had complained to the school but got nowhere. She's talked to, to the school a lot. and. The most answers we usually got were boys would be boys. And now this father is trying to understand why he lost his hunting partner and friend and also trying to prevent it from happening again to someone else. My wife and I are adamant that something needs to be done. If, if you're being bullied, find help. Don't be afraid to talk about it. And Kirk says he's already been contacted by a filmmaker who's working on a documentary about children who commit suicide after being bullied. He and his wife plan to help in any way they can. Kelly. All right, Kirsten. Perkins Superintendent James Ramsey did not want to go on camera but told us there is no indication Ty Field was bullied. However, he said he didn't know if any complaints were made to the principal's office. He also says the district has grief counseling in place for students and